Hi, I'm Sabrina Smalls. I'm Corey Cage's mother. Um, I believe the first question was... Why do you believe that... Why do you believe the Syracuse Housing Authority program are important? Um, one, it keeps the youth off of the streets. It gives them something to do. And they also encourage them and they take them uh, on trips, field trips. Some are... Uh, uh, some field trips are like to go I know a lot of the field trips are to go up to SU where they can meet uh, mentors and um, get involved in, in, in things that are up there and some are just to have fun but I think that all over that the Syracuse Housing Authority or whatever city you are in Housing Authority uh, is great for young people so that they can stay focused, they help them to stay focused on schoolwork and what they need to be done in life to go further in life as they get older. What have you seen Corey learn from his mentors? Uh, a lot. Patience, because you have to have patience with working with uh, the young people's um, He's learned how to stay focused. If he gets out of line, they instead of calling me, they know how to pull him aside and to you know to get him straight. Um, he's learned how to stay out of the streets, which I attribute Syracuse Housing and Wilson Park Center for uh, keeping my son out of the street and keeping him busy in uh, learning how to do things that are positive and not negative things. In what ways have Corey made you most proud? Oh my God, my goodness, um, a lot of ways. The lead, the, the the last way that he's maybe is of course becoming a Syracuse fire fighter. The first uh, ways was uh, getting in school and excelling. Um, Corey is in a lot of things. Um, one of the one things that I'm proud of, he's in the Indianapolis Hall of Fame for high school football players. They picked one person from every school in central New York, and he was chosen for Manic High School. I appreciate that. I uh, appreciate how um, the Wilson Park Center has helped them uh, win many awards. And then he moved on to TAP, and he became a leader in TAP, so I was proud of him for that. For um, He was at King School, I believe, and he was a leader for there. And uh, I'm also proud of Ken, like Corey is for keeping him on the right track and staying on him. He got the Kite Award, he helped him do that. He helped him do college. And he also came up and took pictures of him at college. And he was there, Ken saw him from beginning to end. So of course we love Ken. And I'm just proud of my son all the way around. He graduated from high school, went on to college, and now he's a fireman. So I am a very proud parent. And I thank Wilson Paul, Tap, Ken, and everybody that was involved, thank you. And the Smalls family, we do love you. I have one little question to ask you. What did you think when you saw him walk in with the other firefighters to be sworn in? I almost cried. <laughs> I was holding back my tears. I was very, 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 very proud. First, I was nervous. I've always uh, been nervous for any fireman. But then I had to realize that he's in God's hands. And uh, God has it all in control. And Corey is just an exceptional, one of the exceptional people that was able to make it out of Syracuse housing with their help and to become a firefighter. And I am just, that day I seen him on stage, I screamed to the top of my lungs, yes I did. I'm proud of him. And I, I'm wishing the best for him and for all of the youth. I'm praying that they all, there's, they're, they're not dead, so it's not, you know, it's not too late for them either, so we're reaching out to them too, and I just thank everybody for that. Well, I thank you, thank you. for giving me this time to interview you. Have a nice day. Thank you.